Hey everyone and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we are going to learn how to start off the crocodile scale shawl. It's also known as a scale stitch and I've also heard it called the letter stitch as well. So I'm going to show you how to start it off, how to increase to make this into a shawl. You can make it into other items as well. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. First of all, we want to chain five. Then we want to join to the first chain with the slip stitch. So go into the first chain with a slip stitch. And now we have little circle. What we want to do is work five double crochets into this ring. So we're going to chain up three for our first double crochet. Yarn over, go into the center of the ring, work our first double crochet. And we need five all together so that's one two, still working into the centre, three, four, and five. We're going to chain one and work five more double crochets into the centre. One, two, three, four, five. Just shuffle them down close to each other if you can, because this is your first part of your shawl. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain three. And then we're going to double crochet down here and we're going to go down see the loop that's here this is the top of the last double crochet that we did there you're going to go into that loop there and then into this loop that's at the top here so we've actually turned our work up so our chain one is at the bottom down here and we're going into the loop at the top of the double crochet then into the back loop but it's actually on the side of the stitch there and then we're going to work our stitch as normal so when we look at it all the double crochets up the right way it's actually coming off the side here but we have to turn it so that our pedal is down the bottom. So we've got our two stitches there. We've got our first lot of chain and our first double crochet. Then we're going to chain one. Then we're going to do a double crochet into this center ring. I'm just pushing my straggler down there and then we're going to work a chain one then we are going to work a double crochet into the side of this stitch here so yarning over we're going into the side of it here because these double crochets are actually laying on their side at the moment so we're going to go into the side there working our stitch and work another double crochet into the end if you can't find the end just go into that 
the same space, it's not really going to matter, we're not going to see it. But just into the end there. So you should have two, one in the middle, and then two, and a chain one separating this double crochet here. So what we're going to do is turn our work around, so just turning it like normal. We're going to be working around the double crochets and we need to put five into here. So what you need to do, make it a bit easier for yourself, turn it around like that. So that's why it that it looks when you've just turned it. You're just going to turn it so that we're looking at this double crochet stitch there. And what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet, so I've yarned over, gone into the space there, and we're going around this last or first stitch that's here. So, this is, so normally we'd work across the top here. We're going to be working down here and then up this stitch. So we're just flipping it on the side and then we're working a double crochet into here. So that's one. Notice I didn't do my chain three, but that's okay. This is counting as our first stitch one, two, and I'm all into this same gap. Three. Four and five, and what we're doing is working around that post of that double crochet stitch. We're going to chain one, and now we are going to work up this other stitch here, but we need to spin it around. So let me just put that back. We're going to so we're double crochets are coming out that side, we want to work up this side now. So we need to turn it so we are looking at this next stitch and the double crochets we just did are facing away from us. We don't want this all to be twisted. What we're going to do is work around this stitch here. So you can pick it up and hold it if you like. I find that's easier to work with. I'm just holding that stitch and we're working around it. So if I just lay that down, we've just gone down this stitch here and we're working up the one that's next to it. But we have to turn it that way so we can work up the side of it. So that's two and we want five altogether. Three, four, and five. So we've got our next petal there. So where we see our two stitches together, this is where we work our petal or our scale. We go down that side with five, chain one, and up that side with five. But when we have one by itself like this, we're just going to slip stitch into the top of that stitch. So we're going into the stitch as normal. And then we're going to slip stitch, so it's pulling through. Pulling through there. And now we want to work five double crochets around this next stitch. So yarning over going around the back of the post and we're working five double crochets that same way. You can hold it however you like, I'm just trying to make it so it's easy for you to see what I'm doing. So around the stitch, three, four and five and a chain one and now we want to work this second part of the stitch so this is our next stitch we want to work on there but we want to 
just spin it around so we've just worked down there we want to spin it around and then work five around this stitch now you'll know if you've done it wrong because your pedal or your scale it won't lay flat it'll have like a twist in it it's one two three four five so when you come back to it you've got your two petals laying flat So let's go on to the next part. So let's put it back on our hook. So we're turning our work, so turning, so we're looking at the back and we're working our chain three. One, two, three. And these rows that we do when we just do this part and not the pedal is always going to be the same. So it's yarning over and we're going back down into that front loop. So if you were looking at your double crochets, it's the front loop of that last stitch. And then see that little loop there? You're picking up that side loop as well. So you're working a double crochet into there. We're working a chain one. And then you're going to work one double crochet into the middle of the petal there. So going into there, so that's where we went five stitches down and then five stitches up. We're going to go in between. And then a chain one. And now we're up to, this is the single double crochet from before, so it's just the one by itself. You want to work two double crochet is into that stitch. You might have to move it around a bit just to get through it. So that's one and we want to work two into that stitch. So if there's two stitches from before, so there's one underneath the petal here, so it's one and then two, we're putting one into the top of it. If it's one by itself we're putting two into the top of it. So on our next row we know we only put one into there and two into that one because there's one. So it's alternating one, two, one, two each row. So now we want to chain one and there's always between this one in the middle here there's a chain one either side. So now we're coming up to where there was two stitches before because there's one down there under the five that we put onto it and then one up there the other five we put on. So we now we need we know we need to put one into there because we had two on the previous row. I'm hoping this is making sense guys. So now we're up to the end and that's when first of all we put a chain one because on either side of our one by itself, there's a chain one on this side and a chain one on that side. So we're going into just the side of the stitch here, going through, just poking it through where you can. It's one. And then, if you can, get the end stitch. If you can't, just go back into that same space. As you can see, it's quite hard to get. If not, you can get it in that same space there, it's completely fine. Okay, so turning our work around. So now we're looking at the petal sides. We want to do our first set of petals or our scale stitch. So it's five down the first one, chain one, and then five up the second one. So you want to turn it on its side, petals on the top, the backs at the, on the bottom, working around this first stitch, 
working five double crochets. And then chain one. Then spinning it so that the pedal's facing us and then turning it to the side because now we want to work five up this stitch here. So yarning over, going in from the bottom side around a stitch. This is quite hard to show you on video. So you're just going and picking it up or if you fold it down you can see the stitch that's there. One two, three, four, and five. And now we have a single one by itself, so we're slip stitching into that one. We've got two together, so we'd need to do our five down this first stitch. So we're turning it so our petals are facing that way. And we're working five around the first of the two stitches. Chain one, and then you're spinning it so that's your petal there, spinning it so the petal's bottom is facing to your right, grabbing that next stitch, so that's the second stitch of our two that we put together, grabbing that, and then working from underneath. Oops, helps if you wrap your yarn first. And working your five stitches. And we repeat this all the way on every row. This is how we form our petals. And how we increase to get our one more on each row. We've got our single one by itself there, so we need to slip stitch into that. And we've got our two by two together here, stitches there, either side. We're going to work around this stitch. So I've got my hook in from the back to the front. Working our five down that stitch. And then we're going to spin our work because we always want to be looking at our petal. So we're spinning our work. And on this last stitch of our ones together, we're going to work around that one. So we're going underneath and around. Making sure our petals are all laying flat. Yep. Sure, good news. <laughs> so we've got our three there. And so this row that we just did, the setup row and also the one when we add our scales, we're repeating it through the whole pattern. So let's repeat it one more time and then you're on your own because you're just going to repeat it every row. 
So putting back on the hook. We're looking at our petals. We're going to spin it around so we're looking at the back. We're going to work our chain three. We've already done this twice, this row, so we should know what we're doing. Chain three. And then you're working, remember, that front loop there and that back loop. Working your double crochet, making a chain one. And then we've got the two from the previous row. So there was one underneath all these sti stitches, excuse me, one down there and then one up there. So we have to put one in there, remember, because it went two stitches and then one on the next row. So double crochet into that middle of those two stitches. Chain one. We've got one by itself here. I'll show you there. One by itself. So we need to put two into there. So just going into the stitch. What's happened there? I've got too many loops. Going into the stitch. Where is it? Working your double crochet as normal. And we want to put two into this one because it's one on the previous row. And we want it to alternate. So it's one here, two here. So we've got two here, one down there, one up there underneath our stitches. So it's one into there because we've got two on the previous row. And then chain one. Oops, I didn't put my chain one in there, did I? No. So it's chain one, then one into that one. And then one, that's it. So it's chain one before the single one by itself and after the one by itself. So okay, we have a stitch by itself here, so we need to put two into it. So going into the top of the stitch. It's one. And two. Chain one. One by itself because we've got the two stitches from the previous. And you would have put your chain one in because it was chain one before and after this stitch. And then we're working into the end here. Because we want to repeat what we've got up the other end. Make sure you go under two loops. Seems to hold it better. And we put our two under two loops, it doesn't pull out as much. Okay, let's spin our work around so we're looking at our petals. And now we want to work our petal down this first stitch and then up the second one. So, yarning over, going around the back of the stitch and through and I've just turned it to the side so I'm looking at the back my pointy end is on the left oops working a double crochet and we're working five into that space that's two three four and five and then it's a chain one and then we're looking turning it back to the front and then our single petal down here a pointy end is facing to our right so we're finding our next stitch the second one of the two so it's here you're going to work your double crochets from down under down underneath and around the back and working five stitches into there so that's one two 
Fury. Four and five. You've got one by itself, so you're going to slip stitch into the top of that stitch. Then we have two by itself. Or two together, I should say. They're not by themselves, are they? Because they've got one there. So it's around the back of the first one. So it's around the post, really, isn't it? Working your five double crochet and I'm sure you've probably got the hang of this by now you know where to go with your hook hopefully if I've explained it well enough sometimes it's quite hard to explain put into words what you're actually doing so it's a chain one so then still looking at your petals turning it to the side so your pointy end is to the right work around this stitch here You're going to go underneath it's really hard to get the right camera angle too so you can actually see it as well yarning over And around one, two, three, four, and five. Once you get that first stitch around it, it makes it easy to find it where to go. We've got one by itself, so we're going to go into that stitch with a slip stitch and now we have our two stitches together so you know what it is, it's marking another petal Chaining one, turning it to the side, and now working around this stitch here. So going, this is quite an awkward way to hold it, isn't it? Once you get that first stitch in there, it seems to be a lot easier because you can see where you've got to go. Then we have one by itself, so it's a slip stitch. You can go into it. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Slip stitch. And now work your last petal. So finding that for next stitch. Going around the back. Working your five double crochets chaining one and then spinning it around and working your five oops oh what's going on there we go working <laughs> there we gotcha working around that stitch three 
こう。そうなんです。things fallen over and all gone into things off camera。Okay, so let's have a look. Zoom out. There we go, this is the start of our shawl. I think this is going to look really gorgeous when it's finished. And I'm on the hunt for some yarn that has really long colour changes. I haven't been able to find any yet, but I haven't hit the expensive shops so I think I need to actually go to a nice craft or yarn shop and see what they got because I don't want to make it out of this acrylic I want it to be really nice so I'm not going to finish it off you get the drift of what it's going to turn into and I will post an update video when I finish my my one in my beautiful yarn that I want to buy so thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to join us on Facebook if you've got a Facebook account. Also you can follow us on Twitter or you can email me a photo of your finished project. In the email will be in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and happy crochet.